Hey, this is Big J. Okerson, and you're listening. It's hilarious. <laughs> hey, this is Big J. Okerson, and you're listening to Laugh or Else Radio. I don't know what the else is, but I'm looking at this guy, and it's probably involving butt stuff. <laughs> Laugh or Else. <laughs> hey. hey, hey, how you how doing? You? Welcome back to the Laugh or Else radio show here on fabulous WNUR FM 89.3 in Chicago. Woo! Shy Tim, what, what? The glorious lakefront is only footsteps away. And uh, on my way here, I saw lots and lots and lots and lots of the fireworks happening. I seen them all the way from Navy Pier. Fireworks and lots of smoke from uh, post fireworks <laughs> yeah. stuff. The little park right over here on Clark Street where I turned, it was so smoky. I was like, that place is on fire. <laughs> I think uh, it was cool though. It's, it felt like a neighborhood kind of thing. Like everybody in the neighborhood was out just doing their bottle rockets and fireworks. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to do any of that today. I, you know, as much as. as Close as I drive to Indiana for work all the time, like I never thought once to stop and buy a whole bunch of crap. Really? And bring it back. Like I can go and buy like authentic stuff. Boom booms. Boom boom booms. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm not sure what a boom boom is. You, but. you know what a boom boom sounds like. <laughs> oh, boom. Yeah. No, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Your comedy is on point today. No, <laughs> never. <laughs> I'm not a comedian at all. I wish I was. So, uh, hopefully, like again, we're stressing that if you're listening and you're out there partying, that you're doing it responsibly. Nobody wants to see you smeared all over the... What the hell was Sorry, that? Sorry, that was me. <laughs> what was it? That was me. We went live. Oh, boy. Oh, it sounded like a tweet went out then, Yeah, sorry. What happened? Tweet, tweet. No, what? I just started this over. Stinks, because now we're gonna cut the music and then it's back to nothing. Oh, <laughs> uh, 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 lovely! Good times. <laughs> uh, so, uh, hopefully, if you're grilling today, or if you did grill today, uh, you did that safely as well. There's a lot of people out there who don't grill safely, and uh, one of the things that can happen. If you don't grill properly, is you end up with a fork in someone's eye. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're talking about this. Why is that? <laughs> Safe grilling. Safe grilling. You don't. How want... many idiots are out there that? <laughs> <laughs> How many idiots out there that lose a fork, or lose an eye over a fork? <laughs> don't touch the hot stuff. The, you know what? My uncle was. Well, he's a dick. Honestly, he. Uh, I don't need to dump that. Oh. He. Uh, I thought you did. We never let. It's, always a it's only when you use it in, you know, actions. Oh, okay. Like, you like, can't like put a... Dicking around? <laughs> that I'm going to have to dump. <laughs> Thank you, Beth. You're welcome. Just testing the limit. Uh, yeah, I think that's your first one ever. <laughs> uh, no, maybe the second. But, uh, yeah, so uh, <laughs> make sure you barbecue properly. Keep all your utensils away from children. Otherwise... Like I said, somebody might end up with a fork in the eye. <laughs> and we've actually got a story oh. of uh, what happened at a barbecue when things got out of control. <laughs> and um, <laughs> a barbecue dispute ended with the fork in someone's eye. Wow. So from Fox 2 now. Of uh, course, Indiana. That's why. To, Indiana. Oh, uh, This is the Fox News is out of St. Louis. What do uh, they care about what goes on in Indiana? Yeah. Yeah, but Indiana's got... <laughs> From one of the places in Indiana I've never heard, Muncie. Really? You've never heard of Muncie? No. It's, it's a Muncie. college town. That's probably why I've never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know nothing about college. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, my lady. <laughs> okay. An Indiana woman was hospitalized and another woman arrested following a fight over a <laughs> over the last rib in a backyard barbecue. Ooh. Uh, Beth, would you fight over the last rib? Uh, I'm not big on, uh... How ta- wait, how tasty are these ribs? And are they beef or pork? Oof. <laughs> <laughs> you, you thought that was hilarious. No, I didn't. 
Officers got a call referencing a stabbing around 7 p.m., according to a police report obtained by Muncie Police State Press. Uh, A woman told police that she had been stabbed in the eye with a fork by Sabrina Davis, a family friend. Chick fight. Chick fight. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, why is it chicks are worse than dudes when it comes to life? You know, I don't know. (laughs) We are stupid. Yeah, they're vengeful. They're more spiteful than dudes. Like, a guy's will just fight and get it over with. Women will drag something out for 30 years. Yep. Uh, She was upset (laughs) that Davis was taking the last rib from the kitchen. (laughs) An officer said in the report, she then confronted Davis about taking all the food. During the confrontation, the victim said Davis was using a fork to take the meat from the pan when she turned and used (laughs) the fork and stabbed her in the eye. Are we sure it wasn't an accident? Uh, Yeah, it could have been an accident. I'm pretty clumsy and it's not hard for me to accident. (laughs) That's stabbing yourself in the eye, though. Yeah, I guess. I guess. The victim was taken to the hospital for lacerations in a swollen eye and later released. Davis told officers she was acting in self-defense after the victim pulled a knife during the argument. Davis told officers she was acting in self-defense. Yep. Uh, Davis also states she stabbed the victim in the eye so she couldn't stab her with the knife. So that's a good defense. I'll just poke an eye out. (laughs) That's the way you're swinging wildly. Like a butter knife from the corn on the cob or something? Oh, my God. That would hurt. It's more blunt than it is sharp. (laughs) You might as well hit somebody with a pan. Or the corn on the cob. Yeah. You could (laughs) stab someone's eye out with that. (laughs) I've actually seen a movie where someone died that way. (laughs) I can't remember which one. but Sounds Uh, awesome. Yeah, it was probably one of those 80s horror flicks. I usually get the paper to read, but today it was special, so I thought I'd go out and buy one, the neighbor said. A woman at the house uh, where the fighting happened called it embarrassing, and neighbors said the entire ordeal was unfortunate. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) it's unfortunate. (laughs) It's a good way to (laughs) describe it. It was just so ridiculous. Barbecue's good and all that, but it's not worth sticking somebody in the eye with a fork, you know, the neighbor (laughs) said. (laughs) His neighbors are awesome. Oh, my God. I tell you, Indiana and Ohio, they're the worst. Well, we've uh, we've got an exclusive bonus here where there's video. Ooh. All right. Led to the stabbing of a woman with a meat fork. It happened during a <laughs> Memorial Day gathering in Muncie fork. this weekend. Fox 59's Joe Glavin joins us in studio with what led to the barbecue beef. Well, today, believe it or not, oh it started as a fight oh over boy, the last wait, wait, that pun left was in the so panel. Good. Landed oh one God. woman in the hospital. That was so good. We're going to have to. So punny. Yeah, we're going to have to listen to it again so she feels embarrassed <laughs> if she ever hears this. Muncie this weekend. Fox 59's Joe Glavin joins us in studio with what led to the barbecue beef. <laughs> well, today, believe it or not, police say this started as a fight over the I last don't believe it. left in the pan. It landed one woman in the hospital and another in jail. Right here on the front page for everybody to see and talk about. (laughs) It's the talk of the town in Muncie. Just as it hit the front page of the paper, a backyard barbecue that turned violent all over the last piece of meat. This neighbor told us she had to I see cut it for you, bitch. herself. I usually get the paper to read it, but the day was special. So I thought I'd go out barbecue. Why isn't she showing It all started face? on Sunday she night at a large be, family barbecue. <laughs> Officers showed up after neighbor. someone told them this woman, Sabrina oh. Davis, had stabbed her. In a police report obtained she by our partners like at the Muncie <laughs> Star Press, the she victim like said she, she was stabbing. upset that Davis was taking the last rib from the kitchen. <laughs> So she confronted Davis about taking bitch. all the food. <laughs> Police say Davis had a Oof, fork in her hand when the fight broke out. She was using it to get that last that piece huge. of meat. Instead, she turned on the woman and stabbed her in the eye. Oh, I just can't don't reenact it. Like that Frighten me, news reporter. Know? It was just so ridiculous. <laughs> Officers weren't <laughs> laughing, it. though. They arrested Davis, and she's been charged with criminal recklessness with a deadly weapon. You know, When they asked her side of the story, she said the victim was telling her she couldn't take the last rib and moved to the pan <laughs> away from her. She also claimed self-defense, saying the victim grabbed a knife and she stabbed her in the eye so she wouldn't stab her with the knife. Can they hear this? Scenario no, neighbors say this. went too no. far and is still hard to believe. Barbecue's good and all that, but it's not worth sticking somebody in the eye with a fork, you know? <laughs> the Davis is still in jail tonight on $5,000 bond. The victim was treated for lacerations and a swollen eye and later released from the hospital just, today. 
Why would you write the report exactly the way the report is? I'm not sure. I should have probably just played the video then. Journalism. Well. Uh, yeah, careful. It's going to play that. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. yeah awesome. Good, good, More puns? Good call. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what started the barbecue beef? That looks like Neil Patrick Harris. Uh, not quite as gay. <laughs> oh, God. He's got an aqua tie on. You're terrible. Teal. Teal. Come on. He what? is gay, right? Yes, he's okay. gay. Well, he doesn't guy... dress gay. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. <laughs> yes, he does. He looked like Barney from How I Met Your Mother. I uh, couldn't. You've never watched it. No. No, because you're too busy watching freaking paint dry. <laughs> We've been <laughs> no. over this. No, I watched better material. I'm sorry. <laughs> Although I have not been watching Orange is the New Black. Yeah, see, okay, so I think we talked about this. I started off saying that the this season wasn't that good. Yeah. I got to say, though, I, I started continuing. And, I mean, the storyline is meh. But um, there are definitely a lot more funny moments in this season than I remember last season. So I just don't see how much longer the show can last. Well, cons- I, they're obviously not following the true story right, of it. Right, because she gets out of jail like in the second year. Or and whatever. it's completely different than uh, sure. the book. It's yeah. 100% different. Well, that's how they can spin it later and be like, look, none of this is your idea, so we don't have to pay you any royalties. What are they scoping? There's a, too too much useless naked lesbians, though. <laughs> is that what they said? <laughs> it, but are naked lesbians really useless? Um, well, uh, you know, some of us. After kinda... about six minutes, they become useless. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I guess. <laughs> They've got one chick on there, though, this season, who's kind of one of those androgynous, well, <laughs> not, not like there aren't any already, <laughs> but this one's like a good looking one. So that's, uh, oh. I, I guess, it got a lot of ladies straight ladies that are watching are a little excited over you that. mean pensatucky isn't cutting it for the <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> well she got her teeth fixed so yeah thanks to having them knocked out by the by <laughs> what's her face yeah. uh i've seen pensatucky in another show i think it was like csi and she She's was like everything she was like the abused girl jogger in the park or something she's been in uh uh sons of anarchy she was in, she's, she's perfect for his white trash. <laughs> yeah, she was in uh, Eight Mile. Was she? Yeah. Who was she in that? She, oh God, I can't remember now. But she was in it because I remember thinking, ah, yes, that she looks like a lot of the people I grew up with. <laughs> Interesting. 